In today's tutorial, I'll be sharing with you four AI tools that you can use to easily lip sync your characters. You can easily lip sync your scenes from either an image or even a video. Before we get started, if you're new here and you'd like to see more videos on AI tools and how you can leverage them to make your daily work easier, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you don't miss any uploads. Without wasting time, let's get right into it. Our first AI tool today is Runway ML. Now with Runway, it's pretty straightforward. Once you are on their home page, just click on Lip Sync. This window is going to open up and you can go ahead and upload your own file or you can go ahead and record if you do not have one and you can also choose to create your custom voice. Next, if you do not have any of those, you can go ahead and input a script that you want to use. And then you can go ahead and choose one of their voiceovers. As you can see, they have quite a number that you can choose from in all these different styles, as you can see. Next, you'll need to upload the image or the video that you want to use for the lip sync. So just go ahead and hit upload or browse and you'll be able to choose from images that maybe you uploaded earlier on to the platform or you can go ahead and upload a new image or video. So let's go ahead and upload a new image and you're going to upload this image. It's really easy. Just hit upload and once it's uploaded, you'll be able to go ahead and upload a voiceover that you want to use. So we already created voiceovers using a different tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit upload audio file, sorry. From here, you'll be able to go ahead and upload the audio file that you have. Now let's go ahead and just do that. So we're going to give this a minute to upload. Hey dad, I'm home. We had a... Once you've confirmed that you have the right audio file, go ahead and hit generate and your lip sync video is just going to be created. So here we have our video. Let's just go ahead and see how it turns out. Hey dad, I'm home. We had a science experiment and I got to mix some cool chemicals. We learned about acids and base. So this one turned out pretty well and I'm not really surprised because Runway is really good when it comes to lip syncing. With Runway, you'll be able to create lip sync videos that are up to 45 seconds long. So if you need something longer, you're going to have to create in batches. Our next tool is Vidnos AI. And once you're here, all you need to do is hit create a video now. And once you get to their homepage, just click on create a video. So we'll just choose a blank template. So we'll choose this uh, landscape version. Once you're here, all you need to do is go ahead and upload your own image. So we are just going to close this window and we'll just go over to the avatar section. So we'll just say talking photo. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and upload my own image. So we'll just go over and click to upload my photo and you'll be directed, of course, how to upload. So just click on upload once you're on this page. So let's go ahead and choose one of our images. So we can go ahead and choose a different image. So once the image is uploaded, all you need to do is hit next. So once you're here, you can go ahead and input a script that you want to use. That is in case you do not have a voiceover ready. So you can input your script over here. And next you need to go ahead and choose a voice that you're going to use to generate your voiceover. As you can see, there are so many voices for you to choose from. You even have a choice to clone your own voice. Since I already generated my voiceover, I'm just going to go ahead and click on upload voice and you can go ahead and choose a voice that you probably uploaded earlier. But since we had not done that, you can go ahead and click upload voice and you're going to choose the voice that we want to use. You can also choose to play to just to make sure that you have the right voice. Wow, that's great. Do you think you want to do more? Now that's perfect. Once you've done that, all you need to do now is just go ahead and click on generate. That's all you need to do. So we'll just go ahead and give this a few minutes to generate our video. So our video is ready now, so we can just go ahead and play it and see how it turns out. Wow, that's great. Do you think you want to do more experiments at home? Maybe this weekend we can pick up a science kit. I'd say that turned out pretty well. So once you're satisfied, all you need to do is hit download. You can download this as 1080 or 720p. So I'll go ahead and download this and now we can go ahead and move on to our third AI tool. So our third AI tool is Morph Studio. So once you get to this interface, just go ahead and click get started. 
If you do not have an account, you'll be prompted to create your own account. But once you're here, all you need to do is hit on create new. From here, you can proceed to name your project. So I'm just going to give this a simple name like clip sync one. So the next thing that you need to do is choose that aspect ratio that you want. So for this, I'll just leave it as 16 is to nine. And then I'm going to click on create. So once you get here, you're going to have to choose the model that you want to use. And in this case, I'm going to use the image to video. You can also choose the video to video option. Next, you can choose the camera motion that you want for your video. If you want it to move in a specific direction, you can choose from here. After that, you can go ahead and choose the duration that you want for your video. So as you can see, you can choose from three seconds all the way to 10 seconds. After that, go ahead and choose the motion strength that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a motion strength over here. And after that, just close this window and you can go ahead and upload the image that you want to use. So I'm going to do that very quickly. I'm just going to choose an image over here and I'm going to upload this. So once your image is uploaded, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the create button. So this is going to take some time to render. So just give it a while. And once your video is ready, now you can go ahead and lip sync. So as you can see down here, you have an option to reprompt. You can go ahead and regenerate as well, or you can choose a different style for your video. And the fourth option is the lip sync option. As of today, that is mid-June, you're not able to generate your voice over here, but as you can see, this is a feature that will be available very soon. So we'll click on upload voice and you'll be able to upload your own voice. So let's just go ahead and choose one of our voices for this specific image. So at this point, you can go ahead and listen to the voice just to make sure that you have the right voice. And once that is done, all you need to do is hit on lip sync. Now this is going to start its own process and you're going to give this a minute to lip sync. Now our video is ready. We can just go ahead and listen to it, see how it turns out as well. Hey dad, I'm home. We had a science experiment. Now that is pretty good and it's really as simple as that to use Morph Studio to create your own lip sync videos. Now our final AI tool is Speaker Labs. Once you get to their homepage, all you need to do is go ahead and upload the image that you want to use. So we're just going to click on upload image. So we'll just go ahead and choose the image that we want to use for this specific purpose. Let's just choose our boy again. Once the image is uploaded, you'll see the lip sync option right below it. So just click on that. At this point, if you do not have your own voice, all you need to do is input a script over here. So as you can see, you can just go ahead and input the script that you want. Next, you can choose a voice to use from the list of voices that they have right here. As you can see, they have quite a number of voices that you can choose from. Now with Picker Labs, you'll be able to create a video that is up to four seconds long. If your voiceover is longer than four seconds, you can go ahead and choose the portion that you want to generate. So let's just go ahead and do that. So here you can choose the portion that you want to generate. I'll just choose the first four seconds. And then after that, I'm just going to hit generate. Again, we'll just give this a moment to generate. So our video is ready and it's really as simple as that to create a lip sync video using Pika Labs. At this point, you can choose to regenerate the video or you can even go ahead and generate four more seconds. Dad, I'm home. We had a science experiment. You. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In case you have any question, don't hesitate to put it in the comment section below. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.